what the hell is the Internet of Things? There's a ton of hype about this. I hate the hype, but I'm betting my future and the future of my kids, at least economically, on the fact that we will deploy sensors, they will create value, and we will drive change in just about every system on the planet Earth that matters to us. You had the Internet. Now you have something called SMAC, Social Mobile Analytics Cloud. Don't ever let anybody make you feel bad by tossing acronyms around. SMAC, when people talk SMAC, S-M-A-C, it's Social Mobile Analytics and Cloud. That's all. Phones, tweets, data, and the fact that you can push some or all of it into a cloud. But coming up next is all these devices that you folks have been messing around with for damn near 20 years. Most people are newbies when it comes to instrumenting the physical world. Most of you are damn near experts. And as confused as you may be on occasion, or as pissed off as you may be on other occasions, as much as these systems may bleed or generate profit or drive people to put hammers and screens, as I saw earlier, you still know as much about this as any other community on the planet. I know because I work with all the others. Your obsession with value, your deep domain expertise, the fact that, the fact that your teams include civil engineers, structural engineers, environmental engineers, hydrologists, geohydrologists, finance, accounting, marketing, logistics, multimodal, and all other manner of physical world experts and operations experts working with you as you think about instrumenting your assets, means you're way ahead. You've already done the hard work, I think, of recognizing that the operations community, with their operations technologies and their operations issues, matter as much or more than anyone else in the room. No offense, CEOs, CFOs, CIOs, CMOs. It's the ops crew. Most others don't know this. And you should also know that everybody and their grandmother in tech, wants to instrument your assets, wants to instrument your inventories, your areas of operation, your people, your processes. I want to be really clear about this. Now, I've shared stages with a lot of the people who run those businesses. I'll talk about one specifically. You know, GE and Industrial Internet love what they're doing in many ways, shapes, and forms. But make no mistake, when Jeff Immelt talks, he talks about asset optimization, he talks about zero downtime. He talks about doing for other industries exactly what you folks have been doing in yours. Let me be clear about this. Jeff Immelt has declared that the industrial internet will be the future of GE and, by implication, his legacy. And they launched this like three years ago. Let me repeat that, like three years ago. And they're looking at instrumenting all manner of industrial machinery and equipment and more. And they do it really well. You can look at this, and you can think about any technology company in the world, and they're all betting on the Internet of Things. They're all betting that all those dark assets, the 94% of heavy equipment, the 88 or 90% of on-road equipment, those very low penetration rates for these types of solutions, and the surprisingly low implementation or deployment rates or utilization rates for these solutions represent their next opportunity. Notice what I'm doing. It's intentional. Saying us and them. I'll say the unpopular thing. You should feel threatened at least a little bit by big technology companies endeavoring, trying, seeking to instrument your assets for you, maybe to you. Because I'm going to tell you straight, he or she who controls the data, the intelligence about those assets, inventories, and areas of operation will control that market. They will control that customer. They will control the regulatory environment. They will control the supply chain. They will control you. Now, there's a ton of opportunity here. I'm not saying these companies are bad. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is what I see based on the very private work that I do with dozens, hundreds of entities every year there is a clear tension between some tech companies and some industrials. And that didn't come out in the cover article of the Harvard Business Review last month. Porter's a genius. Heppelman and PTC doing brilliant work. But there's no discussion of the tension. There's no discussion of the challenges. There's no discussion of the reality, which is this. He or she who controls the intelligence controls the market. And if you don't, 
Elevate this as one of your top strategic priorities over the next six months, the next 60 months. You will find yourselves on the outside looking in.